Libra gang, what is up? It's your girl Raven. You know the Pink Panther Patty, the Lasse, the Rainbow Bright. What is up? And in case you didn't know, I am a Libra. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? It is a great day. It's beautiful where I am. I hope it is for you, and I hope that your day has been going well. Okay, let me explain the reading, okay? This reading, in case you haven't figured it out, will be for the sign of Libra, okay? And here's the other part of that, okay? You may not even be a Libra. You could just have it somewhere in your chart, or you may know someone that's a Libra, and therefore the messages that I read for you today could resonate for you a bit you know maybe a lot maybe a little I don't know <laughs> but what I'm asking is for you to please take what does resonate for you leave what does not and by all means please enjoy the reading thank you guys so much for viewing me for supporting the channel for watching me on the daily I love you guys from the bottom of my heart please continue to like comment and subscribe and share the videos okay all right Libra so let's see what's going on in the collective energy here Holy Spirit for my lovely Libra's energies what, what are the messages here for the collective Libra? What's going on in Libra's energy? All right, Libra, let's see what's going on. I'm going to split this in half because I've been adding to it, okay? <laughs> All right, Holy Spirit, what's going on here for Libra? Oh, and I meant to tell you that Odin's doing great. He's in his room napping at the moment. <laughs> so he might come here and crash the reading a little bit. Hopefully he doesn't. All right, Libra, so whew, you're dealing with a dark witch, someone who's practicing black magic, or maybe someone may have been saying that that's what you were doing. Oh, goodness gracious. What else? Right out the gate, huh? Someone's getting busted. This could be a fire sign. Busted and disgusted. Fire sign is here. So this may involve a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries energy. Or just intense, intense uh, passion, creativity. Someone could be hard-headed here and crazy. <laughs> Knucklehead, hard-headed individual. And why so serious, the Joker? Like, someone here could be like, you know, like, for real, like, someone here is being busted for doing dark magic. They could be really, really, like, crazy. Maybe because you cut them off and they refuse to let you go, I won't let you quit me. Let me keep going here. This is wild. Maybe over a divine masculine. This may involve a divine, ugh, a divine masculine here, Libra. And maybe that's why they start throwing magic at you? What else? Prioritize yourself. Okay, so um spirit is calling on you to you know just prioritize yourself at this time through the situation or maybe because you prioritize yourself they were throwing magic at you let me keep going don't worry i'll get into some cards i'll clarify it uh workplace drama so this may involve the workplace somebody you work with work for or work on things with you know um project things like that somewhere here may be uh, ugh, defending your honor behind your back Whew, i'm sorry I've been doing a lot of readings and my mouth is drying out. Okay. <laughs> back to back to back. Okay. So Libra, someone here is definitely doing something foolish here. I think it's, uh, I mean, not, I think it's more that I feel that this is somebody here who doesn't want to let a divine masculine go. I don't know. Like they could be spreading gossip and saying you're this dark witch. Because someone here is defending your honor behind your back without you knowing. Yeah, someone's a succubus spirit. Lies keep changing about you. Story falling apart. I can't make it up. Someone here may be spreading lies and shit. They may be saying that you uh, that you have a messy home, that you're a hoarder, that you don't like to clean. Or maybe this could talk about your life. Like They could be saying, like, oh, they got a messy life. They, they got too much stuff going on. Ain't no way in hell they can be who they say they are. Like that type of energy. They could also be saying that you're involved in an underground cult or coven or a secret society here. Or maybe this person is. If this is a dark witch in itself, maybe this person is involved in that. Maybe because you have new love coming here. Okay, that was, I want to see what else comes out. I like to try to get them out individually here. Holy Spirit, what else here for Libra? Okay, Libra. Um, someone here may have lost the battle, but they sure as hell won the war. Okay, so you may have been battling this energy or this situation for a while now, and it may have really worn you out, you know, but and you may have just resigned to just let it go and walk away. And upon you doing that, you came out on top. You feel me? This could also talk about someone else who may have done this, someone else in your energy who may have just like surrendered a battle that they had going on with somebody here, and they won the war by doing that. Because maybe they decided to prioritize themselves. What else? Yeah, someone here may have been, um, before I read this, someone here may have been like, um, 
Someone here may have been like in a long ass, like crazy karmic situation or like a conflict or something with something or somebody or whatever. And they may have just decided, you know what, let me just focus on me. Let me just let this go. I can't change this person. I can't change the situation. Let me just focus on myself right now. You know, so you gave up that battle. You know what I'm saying? Like you just, you know, you, you did the right thing here. But someone here may have been hacking your accounts. Uh, this could be a confirmation to change your passwords. This is banks, but also social media. So someone here may have been trying to hack your social media accounts too, Libra. What else? Someone here has no credit or they have no credibility. So, I mean, like I said before, that other card that was in that other deck, it said, uh, lies keep changing about you, story falling apart. Like, somebody is like, okay, you don't even make sense no more. They probably look at them like they weird as hell right now. What else? Like, they could probably still be talking shit about you or something like that and after being found out. And people are just like, dude, ignore her or ignore him. Yeah, this could involve a codependent friend, someone who's needy, who cannot stand to be alone here, who has lost their credibility here. Someone here could be laughing because somebody's wife or husband has found out about you. Take that how it resonates. Or it could just simply be that somebody's wife or husband has found out about you, Libra. Doesn't have the laughing energy. Doesn't have to have anything to do with it. What else? And then I'll get started. Someone here is covering for a karmic. Nice. Hmm. So... There is more than one energy involved in this fuckery against you. How nice. Someone here knows that somebody did something foolish against you and they haven't said anything yet. And actually I have an index card in here that indicates that, but I'll let that pop out on its own if it needs to, okay? All right. Um, it says, they get it from their mama. Victim mindset, manners, attitudes, wild excuses, men, behaviors, and their insecurities. So this is an energy that... that, that this is, this is an energy that has this type of mindset, this type of attitude, because their mom may have this, their family may have this energy. You know, I um, also have a similar card in the deck for dad, too. So I, I wanted to say that because I didn't want people to think like, oh, you're just trying to blame everything on the mama. No, I got a card in here for the daddies, too. So someone here, they, if they act a funny type of way, I mean, some type of funny way, it's because they get it from their mom or their grandma or something like that. Almost there. Do not give up now. So you could be like just really worn out with this shit. Like I said, you're ready, you're ready to prioritize yourself. You've let this shit go. You've lost the battle, but you won the war. But you are almost there. You've won the war here. Do not give up, okay? Fehu. Odin's room Fehu means wealth, luck, and new beginnings, Libra. So you are on the cusp of receiving this abundance, this inheritance, this spiritual inheritance that you deserve to have. You may be dealing with a fake friend or friends. And maybe somebody didn't see this coming and they are scared. So this could be a fake friend. This codependent friend could be a fake ass friend here that did not think that you would make it out of this and they are feeling scared now. This may involve a stolen car or car tax too. A spiritual narcissist. Someone who believes their spiritual practices makes them superior to others and they seek validation for their actions. Let me go ahead. I'm not going to clarify all of these. I just wanted y'all to get a good glimpse of the energy here. Who? That's crazy, Libra. Okay, let me put this back. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, here, here. I am arranging these according to energy. Just give me one moment. go back that needs to go back okay all right all right libra let's get into it okay let's see i'm gonna start with the dark witch black magic energy and then we'll just go from there it's crazy okay libra I'm going to use the what's the vibe deck. All right. Let's see what we get. Holy Spirit for my lovely Libras. Can you clarify the dark witch black magic energy? What's going on in that? What's the vibe? Hmm. This is a two-faced energy here who may have been living a double life or a cheater backstabber here. 
someone that has burned bridges with you because they they're disloyal they um they have a lack of trust with you you may have turned your back on them or they turned their back on you they turned their back on you and decided to backstab you because they were in their feelings with this antisocial card here in your feelings silent treatment left out someone here feels left out They've burned bridges with you and you've cut them out of your energy for being like a, a cheater backstabber or being two faced or something like that. And so it's like they sought out revenge over it because they feel left out and isolated here, you know, uh, rejected, left alone, self inflict You've left this person alone. So they got mad and they decided to do something, maybe. Um, Holy Spirit, can you clarify the two faced energy? Libra, we have inducement, persuasion, bribe, temptation. Libra, this is an energy here who may have paid somebody or bribed somebody to do something. Someone may have paid a dark high priestess to do some black magic on you if they're not one themselves. What's the inducement? I, this is crazy. Crazy. Libra, curse, hate, catastrophe, misfortune. I'm telling you, somebody might have went to a dark high priestess or a witch or something like that and paid them to uh, to throw a curse or hex you to, to cause a catastrophe or some sort of misfortune. Or um, somebody um, may have been paid to just create catastrophe and misfortune in your life. Because you broke away from them. Withdrawal, quit, awakening, rejection. And they felt like they wanted to teach you a lesson because they was mad at you. Look at this shit. Live and learn with the fury. Someone here feels like they, they felt like you breaking away from them, they needed to teach you a lesson. Or this could talk about how you awakened and you left them alone and they got mad. Because you learned who the hell they really were. So they started to strategize and plot against your victory here with the strategy card and triumph here. This is crazy. No wonder they've burned bridges with you. What's the burn bridges part? They might have been vowing against your gains or something like that. Hold on, let me keep going here. What's the burn bridges, please? Self-love, self-concern, self-healing, independence. Okay, this could talk about you prioritizing yourself and loving yourself. You turned your back on them and you started to turn that. You may have been giving this energy a lot of attention or energy. You turned that into yourself so that you can help yourself out. What else with the self-love and the burn bridges? They wanted to bully you and create. This is mm, okay, Libra. Bully and natural disaster. <laughs> Somebody want this. The bully card also says um, embarrassment and gossip also. Natural disasters has risk, frustration, and survive. Like somebody here, they got mad because you turned your back on them and you, because you, they were disloyal. You mind, you decided to mind your own business here and heal yourself and just focus on yourself here. They got mad and decided to spread rumors or gossiping in a way to, to embarrass you, to create disaster for you. So someone here may have paid someone to gossip and spread false rumors about you. So someone here may have been paid to lie about who you were or what you've done or something like that. Or this could talk about how you cut this person off because while you were minding your own business, they were embarrassing and gossip, trying to gossip. I mean, they were trying to embarrass you and gossiping about you, trying to bully you and create disasters in your life while you were trying to heal. So you could have been healing from something that may have happened here. And instead of them being supportive, they may have been trying to like take you down. Like, like kick a dog while it's down, that type of energy. Like, someone's really crazy. I mean, kick a man while, kick a man while he's down, not kick a dog. I don't know why I thought about that. Now, with that being said, if you have a dog, watch out. Because, I don't know. I mean, I have a dog. You know, that's what I'm saying. I, I slipped up and said dog, but maybe, I don't know. Maybe that was intentional by spirit. I don't know. But someone's watching you here. They've been watching you because they want to see if whatever it is that they try to get done to you is working with the sneak peek and ominousness. <laughs> Something, somebody was watching you so that they could see maybe a way, I mean, so they, they, they could maybe figure out a way to do something insidious or ominous to you. What's the antisocial? There goes the vow card again. Wish, hope, worship. Okay. What's the vow about? 
Someone here is hoping for something to happen to you. <laughs> crazy. It's crazy. I was just crazy. Someone here was, like, if someone paid, like, a dark high priestess or something to, to, to throw a curse or something at you, they have been praying excessively with the gluttony card here, like, exceed greed, like, someone's greedy. They have been vowing greedily or, like, praying, hoping greedily that this ending will happen. That's the death card here. And then we have daydream, which is, like, being optimistic or fantasizing about things. Or someone here was just praying that, um, excessively for you to have an ending to your dreams, so someone here has been, since you've cut them off here, Libra, they have been in this antisocial energy here, vowing revenge on you, you know what I'm saying, by excessively wishing endings or death on you. They were that mad that you left them alone after they did something foolish to warrant you cutting them off, I'm pretty sure. Let's move on here. Don't worry, they, they've been busting and disgusted for this shit. Let's do the codependent friend. And then I'll do bust it. Hold on. Let me see what else. Okay, then I'll do this. Yeah, in that order. Okay. All right, so we're moving on to the codependent friend. Holy Spirit, what's that about? Codependent friend for Libra. Okay, Libra. So again, this is you. Smell the roses. You are taking some time out for yourself. You may be slowing down, getting out in nature. You know, you're minding your own business. Here we go. It's like the startup energy. Like, okay, this is you. You know, you're just smelling the flowers, walking down the street. Everything's all nice and hunky-dory. You know, you're relaxing, you know, vacay. You know, like someone here could see that you're chilling, that you're going on vacation, that you're having fun. You know what I'm saying? That you're taking some time out for yourself. What's what's next? <laughs> with this codependent friend. Hopeful, inspired, optimistic success. This could talk about you being hopeful or being inspired to be, you know, better, you know, to, to be, I don't know. It's like you're, you're just focusing on yourself right now. But there's toxic energy here because you've blocked them off and you've stopped calling them. But, you know, I'm about to shuffle these cards and see what else comes out. Hold on. Wait, Spirit, what else can you tell me about this codependent friend energy? This could be you being inspired and being optimistic and you're on your way to success. What's, what's, what else with the codependent friend? Yeah, you have op new opportunities here, new career, successful business. This codependent friend knows what you have going on here, and they are salty, bitter, angry, petty energy here. They are. They don't like it. They don't like that you chill. They don't like that you're that you that you're just focusing on you. They wanted you when you and this person may have fallen out for whatever reason. They wanted you to continue the the fight or argument or whatever it was, the dispute. Like, you know, they probably were expecting for you to, to keep, you know, I don't know if you even even threw shot to them, but I'm just saying they were expecting for you to throw attacks at them, you know what I'm saying, so that they could keep going back and forth with you and it would be this little stupid, you know, childish, immature thing going on. And you, no, you were like, no, I just rather focus on myself, you know, I rather just separate myself and figure myself out, you know, what, what's going on with me and my path and all this and that. And they are bitter about that. They just knew they had you on the ropes, masked. Hiding, concealing, deception. So someone here, the whole time that you've been focusing on yourself, Libra, somebody's been in the background, salty, and maybe even hiding the fact that they're salty, or you know, in a deceptive ass behavior here because you blocked them out, blocked, moved on, nothing to say, stop calling, and then look, thrills, continuous cycles, bad decisions, addictions with the toxic card here. That's out again. This is a toxic energy here that you've blocked out. You have this codependent friend. They have been, they, they may have been a very, very toxic energy here. You may have accepted them for who they are and everything, but you know, it, you moved on. You decided, okay, I don't want to be a part of this energy anymore. And it's like this energy couldn't accept that. They took it like as a personal attack that you cut them off. What else about the codependent friends? I, it came right back out. Toxic, a toxic person here, drama, arguments incompatible someone that you you may have you know you may have been like evolved like um lesson wise you know what I'm saying you're going up in you're going up in vibration and, and into your north node you know you're learning lessons so you may have learned some lessons that this person has yet to really understand and learn for themselves so you may have had to leave them behind you feel me one way or the other whether this is love friend i don't know but my point though is this is someone that you are no longer compatible with libra okay you and this person you may have the same interests but at the same time they're not like doing the work that you're doing to move a full, to move forward. It's like they're just letting you do the work and maybe they're just trying to hang on. I don't know. But someone here is sorry. Apology. 
Uh, someone here did something arrogant, rash actions, insincere. This is an insincere energy here, and they're sorry. Someone here, you got into an argument with them, Libra, and they did something rash as a response. What's the toxic about? Whoa, that's the way over there. This could be someone you're married to, sweet love, couple, dependency, or just a dependent individual, codependent friend, I'm telling you. So this could be, you know, um, some, um, someone you're married to or in a couple with who's just really dependent. You know, they're toxic. They like to argue and fight. Or, Libra, this could be someone here that um, that you're friends with who's just dependent. They have to, they can't be alone. What else? Someone that, yeah, I'm telling you, loneliness, dullness, disappointment, isolation. Like, you separated yourself from this person. Now they're lonely. Now they're feeling isolated. What's the apology? Or this could talk about, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, before I read that, okay. This could also say that someone here, if this is like a friend, this could be a friend here who is seeing that you're about to ju jump into a couple with someone else or maybe even get married or propose to, and they got mad because they knew they were going to be left the hell out and they felt disappointed and isolated. You know, so this could very well be that. This could be where, you know, you and this person, y'all are all day, every day, hanging around each other, whatever, whether it's family, love, I don't know. But my point, though, is that someone knows that you are going to move into, like, a couple or get married or something, and they know that it's like they're the third wheel. You feel me? Like, they know they're going to be left out. They, don't, they may not have nobody significant in their life at the time. I don't know. What's the apology about? <sighs> Disturbance. Obscure, irritation, supernatural. Somebody here, my ears itch, I'm sorry. Somebody here feels sorry for creating a disturbance. Or somebody here, would, um, when you got into an argument or this disagreement with them, they did something rash and they got in their feelings and they created a disturbance. They did something insincere. What, what was the disturbance? I can't make it up. They're sorry. Apology. Guilt. Confession. Forgiveness. There goes another apology card. Someone here wants to confess that they were creating a disturbance. They want to ask for forgiveness. They feel guilty. Maybe because now you've gained knowledge of this with the coach card, advice, obedience, knowledge, or someone here could be coming to you for advice um, or going to someone else for advice on how to apologize to you for creating a disturbance because they acted out of their ego or they just did something on impulse maybe. Or somebody here gonna get, or somebody here is gonna gain knowledge as to why they really did this. Let me keep going here. Let's go into the busted and disgusted. Let's see what that's about. Holy Spirit for my lovely Libras. What's the busted and disgusted? Okay, we got smell the roses, but let me see what else comes out. What else? Because that's you chilling again. I'm telling you. Intimacy, mutual respect, unity, closeness. Okay, what else with um, busted and disgusted? This is somebody you were really close to, and it came right back out. This is why when people doubt tarot, they really should just watch, I'm telling you. Smell the roses. It came right back out. I put it back, and it came right back out. Someone here, they, um, this is someone that you have been intimate with or someone you got a mutual respect for, you feel close to. Someone here is being busted for doing something here out of envy or jealousy. Hold on. What else here for busting and disgusted? Wishful thinking, second chance, deja vu, nostalgia. Okay, I think I'm starting to understand what this is. Hold on. What else? Yeah, daydreaming. Head in the clouds, delusion, hopes and dreams. I know what this is. Okay. So, Libra, check it out. Somebody here that's been busted for whatever it is that they've done or, or someone feels disgusted with what they've done. This could be someone who's um, that you're close to, you may have been intimate with, or you just have a mutual respect for. Um, they could be watching you just chill and just enjoy life, like, you know, taking some time out for yourself, taking care of yourself. And they have wishful thinking here for a second chance. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they really want to, they, they're thinking about you. They're, they're memorizing, they're, 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 and their memories, nostalgia's here. They're reminiscing. Someone here is reminiscing about the closeness, the mutual respect you guys used to have. 
you know what i'm saying and now they're watching you chill like you're in this smell the roses energy here and now their heads in the clouds because they want a second chance okay let me get some more cards out what else here for the busting and disgusted please for libra now that someone here now that someone here that this person has come against you libra now that they've had a chance to slow down and assess the situation and like smell the roses and like maybe think about what it is that they've done they've got wishful thinking here for a second chance and they could be daydreaming about that yeah they're stressed out we got overload here excess obligation overwhelm someone here is stressed out and they're maybe in they may be confined or in a victim state of mind at this time with the confinement card what else with the busting and disgusted yeah somebody's idea got them here uh inspiration suggestion vision and then at the bottom right ceremony mystery magic here we go someone here is stressed out because their idea their vision to use magic or perform some sort of ceremony here for victory has been found the hell out and they are scared oh my god they are praying and they are watching because they know sooner or later it's going to get to you hold on they're watching you win now because they know they fucked up okay we got the triumph here okay in the evidence so I'm telling you, like, someone, you're having a victory. Someone here was trying to use magic against your victory, against your success, or someone was trying to have a victory and doing magic against you, and they are being found out here. They're being investigated with the evidence card. You're going to receive proof of this. Someone may be looking into this, or maybe someone's going to come to you and tell you that somebody was doing this, and they are afraid. They are paranoid right now. They're insecure. They're, um, they're afraid. They have phobias right now. You know, and they could be praying for a way out of this with the libation card here. Or, it, and this could talk about how someone's watching you with the sneak peek card, like curiosity, glance, stalking. Someone's watching you win. Someone is like praying. I don't know. <sighs> What's the fright? Hold on, Libra. Someone's afraid of seeing you. I'm telling you, somebody's afraid to watch you win now. Eternal love, eternity, consistency, soulmate. Somebody's watching you walk into a relationship. Somebody might have plotted to, be, to step in between you and somebody. And now they're watching you win with this person. The very thing they try to stop, now they're being forced to watch you enjoy. They don't like this. It makes them sick to their stomach because they're being called out with the protest card, I'm telling you. And now they're asking for mercy. Or they're going to be. Or they might try to come to you for help with the eight card here. Let me keep going. All right, we're going to do the workplace drama. Let's see what that's about. Holy Spirit for my lovely Libras, can you clarify the workplace drama? All right, we got a masculine energy here that's involved in this. Uh, authority, discipline, or father figure. What else with the workplace drama? Okay, vacay, get away, relax, have fun. Okay, so there could be a masculine energy here who wants to get away and relax and have fun after some sort of workplace drama. What else? Or there could be workplace drama around a masculine energy who wants to get away, relax, and have fun with you. Yeah, someone's longing for you, missing you. Let's talk reunion. Hold on. Oh, goodness. We got love affair here, Libra. Dirty little secret. Sex fix down low. Someone could be messing around with the co-workers. Someone here may have a thing for their co-worker. If so, I mean, no judgment here. Love's love. But um, this could be causing a lot of drama right now for this masculine energy or for you. Or, or if you're a feminine, you know, take it how it resonates. Someone here wants to get away from all the drama that's going on in this situation, whether either, whether it's work or home or just the inner circle. They want to get away from it all, and they want to they they want to be with you. Someone here could be hiding their feelings for you, and they want to talk to you. What else can you tell me? Actually, you know what? Hold on. 
There's more to this, I know. Let me shuffle. Holy Spirit, what else can you tell me about the workplace drama? Someone feels trapped, stuck with no options, like they can't be forgiven. Maybe because now they got to face court or justice with the legal card here. This could be like a justice card. Uh, lawyers, court paperwork. So someone here could be feeling trapped without any options or like they can't be forgiven because now they're facing justice. Or maybe that you had to take them in court for this workplace drama they started. Or maybe there's some sort of paperwork involved. What else? Yeah, someone feels isolated, rejected, left alone. Um, someone here, uh, so this is self-inflicted energy. Hold on. Someone feels like they're trapped in a legal case in a legal case here due to some workplace drama they started and they feel rejected or isolated or something here. This could be a false twin flame with the soulmate in reverse or a karmic soulmate who feels shattered and they're suffering in silence and in their emotions and missing you. Someone has trapped someone that you work with or used to work with Libra. They have put themselves in a situation. What's the trap about? Yeah, somebody was stubborn. That's crazy. This is court. Gotta be. Justice. Stubbornness. This is court related. Or something's being balanced out. Some sort of truth and clarity is coming out about something here. Somebody was arrogant. They didn't want to listen. Someone could be taking someone to court for not wanting to listen and being arrogant. What else with the workplace drama? Someone could be taking a stubborn boss to court. Memory. Re remembrance. Commemoration. Reunion. Somebody wants to have a reunion with you or something here. They feel trapped and restricted and they feel like they're facing justice for what they've done. And they feel rejected and left alone. And all that they can do is, is think about it. They can't stop thinking about you. What else? Yeah, they're sick with it. Illness, disease, weakness, fragility, and in imagination, variety, fantasy, mind. So someone's in their mind about you and they're really feeling weak or sick. What else? This could be someone in the family or someone you got family ties with and uh, maybe a, a bond, a tight bond with or someone that's in your background. But they've done something foolish here and now they're facing justice and they didn't want to listen. Now they're suffering the consequences and all they could do is think about you and they want to talk to you. They want to have a reunion. Hmm. Let me keep going here. Okay, we're going to go to I Won't Let You Quit Me, okay? All right, so now this could be a crazy-ass boss leaper that don't want you to quit. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, take out resonance, but okay? I'm just saying that. Holy Spirit, can you clarify I won't let you quit me for Libra? It's someone in the family. Someone you have an inner tie with, um, blood ties, inner circle. Someone in your inner circle or your family does not want to let you go. What else? They feel like you're their family. They feel like you have ties to them that you can't let them go. Possibilities. Follow your dreams. Make up your mind. Believe in yourself. You have chosen to follow your dreams and believe in yourself. You have made up your mind here, Libra, that you're not going back to this mess. What else? You decide to move away. Yeah, this has broken them. They're having nightmares. They feel like a failure with the shattered energy here. And they're under a lot of stress. They're uh, stressed out, worrying, having migraines with the tension card here. Someone here, they, you have had an epiphany to let this energy go. And you've done so because you've decided to follow your dreams. Someone here, or there's somebody here in your energy, Libra. If it's not you, someone in your energy here has decided to leave behind like family or inner circle here or something that was toxic to them and follow their dreams. And whoever they're leaving behind, they're broken behind this. And they're under a lot of stress. There's conflict here with the conflict card. Someone here wants to bring conflict to your new beginning, to your, um, to your real estate, to what you're investing into, or, who, or who's investing into you, into your wealth. Listen, I won't let you quit me. Okay, stability, harmony, acceptance. This could be someone here who um, depends on you for stability or harmony or something like that. Or someone wants you to accept them for who they are. What's the okay about? Schedule, management, plan, organize. Hold on, let me keep going. What else? Confinement, captivity, tolerance, unfreedom. That's crazy. 
Somebody wants to come in and act like everything's okay, like everything's stable, there's harmony, everything's okay, Libra. But really what they're planning to do is they're trying to organize a way to trap you or confine you or victimize you because you walked away. Yeah, they want to dominate or control you with the marionette card. Domination, uh, dictatorship, reluctance. They want dictatorship over you. They want to manipulate a situation to stress you out. So that maybe you would be dependent on them again or something. I don't know. Like somebody wants you to be like dependent on them to where, you know, they'd be like, see, I shouldn't have walked away. You know, you need me. Somebody's crazy. All right, let's go to didn't see this coming and they are scared. Let's see what that's about. Ooh, okay, Libra karmics, third parties, haters, lesson learned, epiphany, self-reflection, answer questions, and untapped talents, and then this is sipping, rumors, gossip, nosy, and then harmony is in reverse at the bottom of the deck, which is a uh, balanced piece of happiness, all in the reverse, okay, so check it out, someone didn't see this coming, this karmic third party or this hater, you know, they are being made to reflect on what it is that they did. So there's rumors, there's gossip going around about what they did, and they are afraid. People, people are talking about what they've done to you, Libra, and they are starting to get really, really afraid about it or something. What's the karmics about? There we go with that libation card. They were praying for your injury, libation and accident. Somebody here was praying for your downfall, for you to be hurt. What's the epiphany card? alliance trust honesty compatibility so you may have been reflecting on how much you can trust this energy here or your alliance in itself what else yeah blind awkward unknown vision problems so maybe you're you know maybe you had to step back and try and focus on who it is that you could really trust because you really wasn't sure so you okay you ended up seeing through this mess that they were trying to pull over you. Okay, Libra, they were trying to hurt you, you know, and I guess try to confuse you so that maybe you wouldn't understand what was going on, but you saw right through it. They wanted you to not, you know, they, at this time, they don't know who they can trust. They hope for an accident. Now they don't know who they can trust and there's gossip going around. What's the gossip about the rumors and the nosy energy? Conflict. So there's gossip of conflict going on right now. What's the conflict about? Profession, expertise, omniscience, talent. You could be a very talented person here. There could be uh, gossip or someone wants to nosy, uh, nose in your business. Someone's nosy. They want to be in your business and see what you do for a living. Or and so they can spread conflict. Hold on. Or this is a gossiping ass energy here whose profession is conflict. A shit starter energy, a professional shit starter, Libra. I'm not lying. Someone here is afraid of an accident happening because they know that they wish that on you or they were spreading hate for it to happen. This is someone you thought you can trust. Someone here may have been using their job to create conflict. So they may work somewhere and they may be utilizing the resources of their job to create conflict for you. What else? Somebody crazy. Fate. Something's faded here. Or something has already been foretold or this may involve a tarot reader. This could be you, them, or you may have had a reading done or whatever. This could just be faded. Someone here was trying to bring conflict to your job. Or maybe trying to bring conflict to your life so that you wouldn't be able to focus on your job. So if you're a reader and you have like a channel or platform or a business or, what, or whatever, someone here could be trying to like create conflict and chaos in your life so that you wouldn't be able to do your job or something. They're being called out for this. The gossip is on the streets about this. Someone's on the streets talking about how someone here was causing conflict for you for your job or something like that. This could be an online community too with the introvert card. It says privacy, separate, online community. Someone's afraid of this getting out, but it's coming out. The truth always comes out. All right, let me move to no credit. Let's see what that's about. Because now that this shit then came out, they have no credibility. What's no credit for Libra? Laughter, happiness, joy, healing. Um, 
what else? Because this could talk about how someone, hold on. Wow, hold on. Thrills, continuous cycles, bad decisions, addictions. Let me keep going. What else? Yeah, somebody, nightlife, striptease, gamble, Vegas, and then at the bottom we got running. Escape, denial, excuses. Okay, let me break it down for you, Libra. Okay. This could be a very fun energy here, Libra, who likes to go out and have fun. But they indulge in continuous cycles of bad decisions and addictions. And they may very well do continuous cycles for thrills, too. So they may have been doing this to you for entertainment. But my point, though, is this is an energy here who has no more credibility. They could come off as being happy, like they're joyful, like they're a healing energy here. But really, they, they, they indulge, like I said, in continuous cycles of bad decisions and addictions here. And they really love their nightlife with the striptease uh, gamble Vegas. Like this is an energy here who may have like a gambling addiction or, um, you know, they just indulge in things, you know, nightlife here. And now they're trying to run. From what they've done here with the running card, the escape, denial, excuses. Someone's trying to make excuses for what they did to you, Libra. They're in denial about it. They're trying to escape from it. They're running from it. They have no more credibility. Someone knows that they're about to get called out. And they have, and there's no excuse for what they did. So all they can do is run away. What's the laughter about? This is crazy. This is an energy that Libra, I know this sounds toxic, and actually it just came out in, I think, Gemini and Aquarius reading. You might want to check it out. This is the type of energy here that gets off on watching people suffer. They find enjoyment in seeing people having to uh, go through challenges and things that they've created for them. Yeah, somebody's crazy. We got um, perseverance here, which is like creating challenges. You see how he's like jumping over hurdles. And then we got gift here, souvenir, souvenir, promotion, or delight, like something delightful happening. And then trap, victim, allure, trick. Like someone here loves to see someone, someone's delighted in seeing challenges being created that victimize people. And this is someone that, that you would have thought was a friend or someone in your community. Someone here could like to create obstacles for people and then try to swing in and try to be a superhero. I'm like, oh, you, let me help you with that. Yeah, because you fucking started the shit. Okay, let me see what else comes out. What else? This could be someone that uh, comes off as a sweetheart, somebody you used to party with or drink with. Or celebrate here with the sweetheart and indulgence. Or this could talk about how the sweetheart card is an unconditional love card. Beloved energy. So this could talk about you being a sweetheart to this person. Helping them out and shit. Being nice. Or they could be coming off as though they're that energy to you in order to get you. Let me keep going here. Okay, so... We're going to clarify Odin's room, Fehu, which is the wealth, the luck, the new beginnings. Okay, let's see what's going on, Libra, okay? Because, I mean, you've been through the ringer here. You have been through it. It's time for you to have some new beginnings here, some luck, some wealth. Holy Spirit, what's the Fehu for Libra? Yeah, you're hopeful now. You're inspired. You're optimistic. You know success is coming here. And that's because you have blocked someone. You have moved on from them. You have nothing to say. You have stopped calling them. So this toxic ass energy here who thought it was funny, who thought it was fun to watch you struggle, you know, you've blocked their asses out and you are now more hopeful. You're more at peace. And now you're manifesting this fehu. You're manifesting the wealth, the luck, the new beginnings now. What else? You're having a new beginning because you've blocked out something that was holding you back or trying to. Yeah, this energy is paranoid now, cautious, insecure, guarded. Or this could talk about how this was you. You may have been paranoid or maybe insecure. What else? But you've moved on. Yeah, because you're having a glow up. Okay, uh, new opportunities, new career, successful business. Like, things are picking up for you. You have been hopeful. You have been inspired to be successful. You have been optimistic through all this shit here, Libra. And you have blocked out things that have not been good for you. You know what I'm saying? And you may have been a little cautious or insecure or guarded or this could talk about this injury, like I said, but you're having a glow up here. You know what I'm saying? New opportunities are here. New opportunities in love. You know, things like that. 
you're going to be able to go on vacation with someone you care about um what else here for fehu and now i'm getting to some tarot introvert privacy separate online community i'm telling you you separated from toxic people or this one toxic person whoever you've separated yourself from this energy here and now things are going to come in for you what else yeah, you had to protect your peace, calm, inner peace, simplicity, meditation here. And you believed in yourself. You kept your self-esteem. You know what your self-worth is, you know, with the pride card here. Someone here was trying to stop that by creating nightmares to your jackpot, your fortune, your reward. But you're going to get that anyway. You're getting it. Someone here was trying to stop it. They wanted you to be stuck in a nightmare and trap, but you're getting it anyway. Gay, you're going to get it anyway. Someone here tried it. They absolutely tried it. Let's get into some tarot. That's crazy, Libra. People need to get a life, I'm telling you. Holy Spirit, my lovely Libra energies, can you please clarify this energy? What's going on here? Get a good shuffle going. We're going to clarify. Um, almost there. Don't give up now. Because we know that you got wealth coming. This has been a very long road for you, Libra. I feel that, you know. And you may be ready to give up and just say, screw it. I don't want to be with nobody. I don't want to fool with nobody. I'm just done with this shit. I'm tired of being pounded with all this mess. You know, you're ready to walk away. And spirit is like, don't give up, okay? What's um, almost there? Don't give up now for Libra. Yeah, you're really, really burdened here. The Ten of Wands with the Nine of Wands in reverse, you are stressed out, Libra, like, or you have been. You know, the Ten of Wands is burdens, you know, hard work, trying to, you know, you've been putting in the hard work. You've been burdened. You've been working to complete what you need to do here. But, you know, this is this has been a struggle for you. This has exhausted you. You may, you may be losing your lack of motivation because of this burden you've been carrying. But Spirit is like, do not give up because you are almost there. What else? Okay, we got the Six of Swords in reverse, which may talk about unfinished business, or somebody may, or you may felt that, or maybe someone felt like they had an unfinished business with you. What else here with the almost there? Ace of Wands in reverse, and then the Justice in reverse. You are tired, Libra. You may have lost motivation. There are a lot of delays here, lack of energy, lack of passion. You may have felt bored or just really weighed down here with the Ace of Wands in reverse. The Justice card, that's a Libra card here. In the reverse, you feel like this is unfair. Like, you know, like things aren't picking up the way they need to. You know what I'm saying? Like, you really want things to turn around, you know? You may even feel like you're being punished. Spirit is saying, don't, do not give up. What else? You're just overwhelmed by all the unfair things that keep going on here. Yeah, there's a lot of lies and deception and betrayal here with the Seven of Swords. And then we got the Five of Swords with, uh, that shows conflict with the Three of Swords that shows heartbreak. What's this? Something unfair happened here, Libra. Okay? And this has made you feel, uh, this may have left you feeling delayed, like you are bored now, a lack of motivation, a lack of passion here. Someone here was lying or betraying or trying to trick you. I mean, we've talked about this, okay, with the Seven of Swords here. Uh, someone here was betraying you, you know, acting strategically to create conflict and arguments and disagreements to create heartbreak in your life. So, of course, let me say this, Libra. Maybe if you could get some insight on why it has been so hard for you, maybe this will motivate you not to give up. You have a, I mean, everyone's life is different. Everyone has their own lessons and everything to go through. I get that. So everybody's path is different, but this may very well be the energy where you feel it. You, you feel so exhausted because you were just about there and someone did something foolish, deceptive behind, behind the scenes here to trip you up or trip up your person. You know, somebody manipulated something, page of swords in reverse, or there's some sort of deception here. Someone, someone manipulated for your heart to be broken, or they were trying to. What's the seven of swords? Nine of swords, which is anxiety, fear, depression. King of swords in reverse at the bottom, Aquarius energy, someone who's narcissistic, uh, manipulative. What's the nine of swords? Seven of swords. Somebody here can be really worried about this lie, this betrayal that they've done to you to create conflict. What's the nine of swords? 
Yeah, they did something foolish, the fool. Or someone here could be worried about their beginning here. This could be you or your person or somebody here who knows that they have a new beginning coming and they could be worried about when it's going to happen because maybe it's unclear to them at this time. Or somebody here, they did something foolish, something spontaneous here that was deceptive that created, that created like, a, like a breakup or a fight or some sort of conflict here. Someone's worried about this truth coming out. Let's, um, hold on. Let's do lost a battle but won the war, okay? Because we're talking about battle-worn energy. Holy Spirit for Libra, what's lost a battle but won the war? Okay, Knight of Wands. Okay, you have been inspired, okay? This is your energy card. Inspired action, you being fearless, adventurous. This is your passion. So you, you know what I'm saying, you kept up your energy through this, even though it was a challenge with the Seven of Wands here. You know, this was there was a lot of challenges here. You had to persevere over it. You had to protect yourself. This could talk about competition. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you were, re again, you know, you were able to maintain control, but this really wore you out, Libra, the Chariot. You know what I'm saying? You're moving on now. Uh, cancer energy. There's movement being made. Progress is now going to be made because you gave up this battle, but you are winning the war. What else? Knight of Cups. Someone could be following their heart. What else? Five of Cups energy here. That's regret, failure, disappointment, loss, grief. You're moving on from someone who is, you're leaving somebody in regret for the things that they did to keep you, to make you worn out. You're inspired to keep going here. You're inspired to, to stand up to the, to the challenge, to overcome it, to maintain control and to progress forward. You are determined to do this and you most certainly will with the chariot card. This has somebody feeling like they're a disappointment or they're a failure or someone does not want that to happen. What's the five of cups about? Someone is sad because they know that you're moving on, that they plan, their plans didn't work. Yeah, Queen of Cups in reverse. They're jealous. Cancer energy. This is someone who's jealous, insecure. Yeah, this is somebody, or a mother figure, a mother type. It could be masculine energy too. doesn't matter. But somebody here, like you are inspired to keep moving no matter what. Like you don't let none stand in your way. And this is a failure for somebody. This disappoints them because they're jealous. What else? Someone wanted you to be worn the hell out and not going anywhere. Yeah, King of Wands in reverse. Somebody was trying to bully you or mislead you. He's impulsive. He's ruthless. He acts in haste. Um, fire sign energy it could be Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries energy. I think he's Leo. It might be Sagittarius. I don't know. But anyway, my point is that someone is really egotistic. They, they, they're a bully. And, they, and they're insecure and they're jealous of you. And now they're in regret because you're moving forward. Let's go to covering for karmic. Let's see what that bullshit's about. Yeah, look, uh, Ace of Pentacles, you are manifesting a new beginning here, a new opportunity. Things are working out for you. Divine intervention. That is what you're supposed to have. They're disappointed at that. They're jealous because they know what you got coming for yourself because you cut them off. They know. They know. They know, Libra. They know. You ain't got to worry about that. They know. What's covered from a karmic? Judgment's been called. This may involve a third party here with the three of cups in reverse or someone gossiping. Judgment's been, you may have called judgment, your spirit team is, somebody called judgment on the situation, but the most high is now looking into this. Judgment's being called on somebody who, or someone's um, like having an awakening and realizing that there's a third party here involved in this. What else? Someone's facing judgment for overindulging in something they should not have indulged in. Two of Cups, they were interfering in a relationship. Or this is somebody you're in a connection with. Someone here is facing judgment because they uh, were interfering in a connection by becoming a third party here. Because they were insecure and jealous with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Because you were moving on with the Six of Swords here. And they wanted you stuck in the past. and they Or they're stuck in the past and can't stop thinking about you with the Six of Cups reverse. Somebody... Somebody's covering, somebody became a third party to help someone else out to create some sort of confusion here so that somebody wouldn't move on. 
someone who so this could be somebody that you have kids with libra or your person does or somebody they grew up with or a past life relationship like a karmic tie a soul tie or something here a karmic soulmate here that doesn't want to move on they somebody this is crazy what else we're covering for a karmic somebody in, uh, made themselves a third party so that they could i don't know like they want to help somebody out or something king of cups Cancer, I mean, Scorpio energy. Someone who's emotionally balanced and in control. What's the King of Cups about? So this could be a Scorpio energy or a masculine energy that's involved. Or they were trying to do this to a King of Cups. Knight of Cups. Somebody who's romantic, charming, following their heart. Hold on. This goes back into that bribing energy here. Somebody here is facing judgment because they created a third party situation or they created some sort of conflict. Uh, within, a, I don't know, a relationship that was significant or something here. This could be like a friend of a friend or something here who decided to, to meddle in and interfere in it or something like that. They seen that this King of Cups was coming toward, was moving, was following his heart and he's moving towards somebody here. And they sought to delay him with the Eight of Swords in reverse. I mean, Eight of, I mean, eight of Wands, I'm sorry, Eight of Wands in reverse. It wanted to delay him from uh, maybe confessing his love for somebody. Somebody interfered in a connection to keep someone stuck to somebody here. What else? That's wild. Four swords. Um, what's the four swords? That could talk about rest or putting things to rest or contemplating things. Someone's reflecting on what they did now. Eight of Cups. Yeah, someone here. Um, somebody here either paid or bribed or made somebody interfere in a, in a relationship because they were moving on from them and they wanted them to be stuck. They saw that there was a King of Cups here who was following his heart and about to maybe offer his love to somebody here and they wanted to delay it. By putting it to rest and making him disappointed and walk away or making her disappointed and walk away. Like somebody here, they may have become a third party and interfered in a connection and to make somebody look at you differently so your person wouldn't want to be with you. But this could also talk about how someone's covering for a karmic, but it, it's it's not it didn't work. because Or maybe this King of Cups found out about it and this made him uh, follow his heart and decide to move forward and come towards somebody and move forward into this Ace of Pentacles with this Eight of Cups here. Yeah, because the truth is coming out, not a source. Like someone here is coming to communicate the truth about the confusion they stirred up or something like that on purpose to maintain a marriage or something like that or to, to please a Taurus energy or to please an institution. This is crazy. Let me go to defending your honor behind your back, Libra. Goodness gracious. Holy Spirit, can you clarify that for Libra? King of Swords in reverse, Aquarius energy. So this could be there could be someone here who's manipulative and you abuse their power. Um, someone who's narcissistic here. Somebody here may be spreading lies or talking shit about you. What's the King of Swords in reverse? We got the Ace of Cups here with the Six of Wands. Hold on. Hold on one second, because I think I know what this is. I believe somebody here is trying to confuse somebody. The king of swords in reverse, he can be seen as aloof, too. Like, he doesn't, it's not that he's mean or manipulative or narcissistic. It could just be that he just doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know how to make a decision or something like that. I don't know. What else? With the defining, defending your honor behind your back. So there could be a king of swords here who, like, isn't too sure which way to go. And then maybe he decides, I don't know. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Um, someone here, this could be misdirected activity. What's the Eight of Pentacles in reverse for defending your honor behind your back? Ten of Pentacles. Let me keep going here because we got the Ten of Swords in reverse with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Hold on. This is telling a story here. Let me get it all out. What else here for defending your honor behind your back? Nine of Cups in reverse. And then the Ten of Cups upright. 
and then we got the eight of swords upright with the ace of swords upright okay that, that's as far as i'm going okay hold on you're going to walk into wealth and security like long-term success here libra okay there is somebody that has no passion, they're uninspired, they have no motivation here that may be talking shit about you. They've done something to you in the form of maybe gossiping about you or whatever that they can't come back from and they're resisting an inevitable end. And they're, they're experiencing bad luck here. There's no control here with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And they are very dissatisfied. They have a lack of inner joy. You know what I'm saying? Um, they could be overindulging in drinking or something to numb out the pain of what they feel here because they're in a victim mindset here with the Eight of Swords here. And they know that you're getting your ten of cups. You know what I'm saying? Oops, almost threw it off the table. Because there's truth and clarity coming. But this could talk about how somebody here. Hold on, let me keep going here. There's more to this. What's, what else? Someone's getting caught up in some shit that they try to do. So the magician in reverse, somebody tried to spin the narrative on something that was hidden or something. It's coming out with the moon reverse. Pisces energy. A Pisces can be really involved here. Hangman in the upright. That's more Pisces energy. There could be a Pisces here that is being enlightened or this could be anybody here who's been enlightened and now they're viewing things differently about how someone was manipulating a situation here. And to confuse somebody here. And now they're speaking up and they're ending a the connection here. Or they're ending things with whoever this is. Or they're changing with the death card here. And they're expressing themselves with the page of cups and the page of pentacles. Someone here is like talking to this person and telling them that they're greedy. Hold on. Let me see what this page of cups is. What's the page of cups in defending your honor? Someone's expressing their emotions to somebody about you. Temperance in reverse. Someone's expressing their emotions of how they feel about this imbalanced ass energy here who's going through a tower who's talking shit about you. This could be a Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be. Or this could be a, you know, a Libra talking shit about Sagittarius. Take out resonance. It doesn't have to be. I'm just saying that like, um, but somebody here, they're expressing how they feel about you. And they're, you know, and they're like really standing up for you because this is an imbalanced ass energy here. This is somebody who has addictions or they're obsessed or they're not healing or something here. And they're going, and this is a sudden change. Like this could be an energy that may have never really stood up for you before, Libra. Not saying that they never have really, but maybe they just don't do it often. I don't know. Or maybe you just don't know they do this. But someone here is having a sudden change. And they're having a revelation about who they want to be with or who's really in their life or who's really their friend. And they're standing up for them. It's like someone's setting up to a bully. Yeah, they're cutting, they're setting, they're setting boundaries. Queen of Swords with the Hermit Reverse. It's like someone's telling this Hermit in Reverse to stop lying or misleading people. Or someone here has spoken, has someone here has voiced their opinion to this Hermit in Reverse, and now they feel isolated, lonely, and they're they're resigning now. Like they're not talking shit no more. Someone here really, really had words for this person because the two of swords is in reverse. And that could be information overload. <laughs> like someone here has some words for somebody here who was talking smack about you. Okay, let me keep going here because I'm going over my time. Let's go to the they get it from their mama. Victim mindset, all that shit. Let's see what that's about. So you're dealing with someone who gets their victim mindset or whatever, all this crazy shit, they, their manners. They get it from their mom. What else? The world reverse. So this person is unable to move on from cycles in their life. They're repeating the same things over and over again because maybe or maybe they're making excuses and things like that because this is something that's gone on in their family. This is how they were raised. The star reverse. They have a lack of faith. They don't believe in themselves or they don't know what their path is. They could be very insecure. So th yeah, this is someone here who's insecure. They're delays. They have no, there's no, cl no closure. They have an incomplete cycle here. They keep going through the same thing over and over again. Maybe because their mom did that. Someone here keeps manifesting endings with their mindset here. With the Page of Pentacles and the Death card, Scorpio energy. Someone here is greedy, possessive. All right, let me move on to the Divine Masculine, okay, before I run out of time. Okay, um, Holy Spirit, what's the Divine Masculine here for Libra? Ooh, buddy. 
This may very well be a Leo energy here, and this will be divine intervention, okay? Because things are progressing with the three of wands upright. Ships are coming in. There's a divine masculine here. This could be a Leo. doesn't have to be. But somebody here, they know who they want to be with. High priest is in the sun. They know who they are. They know what their path is. They can see everything clearly now, and they know what they want, and they know who to cut out. The devil in reverse. Capricorn energy. This divine masculine now, know, he can see clearly what this, who this devil is, and he's cutting it out. He intuitive. He's following. He's trusting himself. This is a masculine that has high morals. Yeah, two of wands with the three of wands. Yeah, your spirit team has stepped in. To help you on your path or help your masculine move forward here. Things, ships are coming in. Opportunities are coming in. What else? <sighs> Libra, I'm telling you, like, this masculine, he knows what he wants now. Celebration is here. Four wands. Like, this is like celebration, marriage, community, homecoming, harmony, joy, celebration. That strength card. More Leo energy. Someone is courageous. They're, they have passion. You know, they're focused now on having happiness. They want to celebrate with you. They know who you are now, and they are coming towards you. They have not come to play. Someone here may have been distracted for a minute with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, but now they know. They have an outpouring of love for you with the Ace of Cups. Like, they're ready. All right, let me get you some advice here, Libra. Okay, Holy Spirit, for my lovely Libras, can you give me some advice, please? Ooh, I didn't want that many. Uh, we'll put this one back because I can't see it. Okay, Libra, so we have grounding. Uh, you're being asked to ground yourself. You've been spending too much time in your head, and it's time to pay attention to your body and to the earth. Go outside and plant your feet on the ground and enjoy the centering feeling that this brings. You're being called to ground yourself at this time, Libra, okay? You've been in your head too much about the situation, maybe how it's going to work out, when it's going to happen, all this and the other. Spirit is telling you to enjoy the moment and ground yourself, okay? Go outside and enjoy nature. Speak up. What are you not saying that's eating you up inside? You can't keep this in forever. It's time to let it out so you can move on and be happy. Okay. So you're being called to speak up at this time about the things that you need and things that you want to have. You know, also speak up about things that's bothering you so you can move on and be happy. Pay attention. You're being asked to pay extra close attention to the signs you've been given, both the subtle ones and the ones that can be missed. These signs will help you see how to best move forward in order to live your best life. So pay attention for signs from the universe. Okay. All right, Libra, I'm going to get you an African goddess rising as your takeaway advice. All right, Holy Spirit, for my lovely Libra, what's supposed to take away advice here? I just need one card. There we go. Okay, Libra, so we have a noonday with truth. Okay, so you're going to hear some truth. The truth is going to come out. You deserve to hear it. Okay, uh, she's the goddess of truth. Uh, her guidance says, get real. What is your truth? Truth telling matters. Being able to hear the truth matters just as much. So not only do you need to hear the truth, you need to also be truthful about what you're feeling. You feel me like the speak up energy here. Um, tell the truth. Each person has their own version. Speak yours. Words have impact. Remember that we all have triggers. Think before you speak and listen with compassion. Be gentle and stay calm in truth telling conversations. And her declaration says, the truth is my friend. Okay. So Libra, it's time for you to maybe tell the truth or someone's going to confess their truth to you. You know what I'm saying? But remember that we all have triggers, okay? So, you know, when someone tells you their truth, you know, listen with compassion. You know, don't just fly off the handle, you know, if it's something disturbing or exciting. Even if it's something good, you know, just give them a moment to get it out. You know, show some compassion and some empathy too, okay? All right, Libra. So, I'm going to end reading there. <laughs> I really hope that you enjoyed it. And I hope that it resonated for you, okay? Please hit the thumbs up for your girl and let me know. And leave comments, too, because I love responding. I love hearing, you know, your stories and what's going on, okay? Um, also, I wanted to mention that I have a playlist available for all the signs. So please check those out. Um, there could be a message or two in there for you as well, okay? I'm going to get out of here and into the next reading. And I'm going to see you guys later, okay? I love you. Bye.